Hi everyone, thanks for watching my video on um, ServiceMate. So in this video, I'm just going to run down some of the new features that have been added to the app since the last video that we did. So there's been a new launch of ServiceMate 13. Um, you can see from the website here, always improving is one of the big things. Android devices and another, and there's plenty going on with the new update to ServiceMate. So what I wanted to do was dive into our live ServiceMate and just show you some of the things that I'm really using and making the most of since the latest update. Um, looking at the, the chat groups online, it's had mixed reviews, same as every update. Um, I don't think people like change, but I think once you've dived into the new updates now, um, they are really useful and it's made a massive impact on how we're using them day to day. So um, the biggest one for us is checklists and that's also the one that maybe had the most controversy. Um, it's a fantastic new update which has found it useful for us and bringing tasks from a separate function into ServiceMate can be a um, sorry into checklists can be a bit tricky um, but we weren't massive users of tasks anyway we'd use the notes function to leave each other notes and less focused on tasks so there's a couple of ways you can use the new system um, and still really make the most of it so that's one of the updates the other one that's been great for us is Android I'm personally a massive Apple fanboy. Everything's Apple, so I hate the idea of waiting on developers to release new Android updates and holding up future Apple updates because of that. Um, but the way they've done the An Android app is really cool. Some of the lads on site for us are using Android, so they rather use the phone and do everything on the phone rather than going to the van to fetch the iPad. So that works quite well as well. So let's dive on into our dispatch board, and then let's just start a new job and just show you some of the changes. So obviously we've got a big one here. We can just full screen this if we need to. Um, the main difference is the dashboard looks quite a bit different. Um, you've got slightly streamlined way of entering customer data. And you've got streamlined job contact as well. Um, something that's really cool is let's say if we want to create me as a new customer, um, you can choose to create Ben Curry X as a new customer. Now, in the previous way, a service mate handled accounting packages, it would always list the surname first. You can actually go into settings now and ensure you force the first name to be saved. So that's pretty cool. Same as ever, um, we're just going to stick some fake details in here. Um, one High Street Derby, that one will do. Nice and local. And off we go. So um, what what I've found useful from this new update is this new checklist feature. So rather than just having one checklist here, you can open up and add a new checklist. And you can add a third checklist and even a fourth checklist, which is really cool. And in these, you can say photo of scaffold, um, photos of access, um, and photos of workspace or whatever so you can this can then be named if you want it to be photos so you can start separating out your uh, your checklist now obviously over here we can do office anyone following along with this at home you might want to speed up the uh, speed up the view speed on YouTube so you can just um, move me along a bit, a bit quicker as I'm doing all this so we can put um, submit form submit form 2 and so on and then obviously each section you can have a separate checklist for each section which we're finding really useful now when it comes to tasks these are tasks now so we can just go into here again set a reminder of when it needs to be done um, no reminder in our case and we're going to assign it to a, a staff member so now that is a task so Ainsley's got the task of submitting a form and that's the same way as tasks used to be so let's just close that job go back onto dispatch board and click tasks and you can see Ainsley's got a task here of submit form on the Bank X customer and it's all there on the taskbar so you can't click from here into the oh you can there you go there's something new you can still click through into jobs and um, so you can you can do all of this if you need to jobs are good and literally jobs are good and so let's stay on this job while we're in there okay so moving of the tech 
the checklist to multiple checklists is a really nice thing. Now, what we like about this is if you go to settings and you go to job templates, you can actually have a pre-done a pre job template with all these checklists already loaded into them. And you're able to have these checklists combined with job templates for different types of jobs. So again, going back to dispatch board, we get a new inquiry coming in for a particular type of work. We choose our job template that we want to start off. And then you've got here a ready to go template with all these checklists in. So when your team goes to site, checklist is ready to go. Uh, and that's a pretty cool way of handling checklists and, um, and tasks. Now, if you've got set tasks on each job, like for us, submit a G99 solo notification, um, that could be signed to Ainsley, who does that in our office. If it's, um, you know, call the customer to book scaffolding in, it could be assigned to me or whatever. You can Each task can be assigned to office members or site members, and you can do that on a job-by-job -job basis or using job templates. So the job template function on that is really cool, and, and we are making a lot of use of it. Okay, so the next big thing that we really like is so the name's actually Enhanced Job Card, which seemed obvious, I guess. So let me find a job that I know we've got quite a few pictures on. Um, We'll find a solid job that we did a while ago. And here we go. So customer's job, we've got loads of notes and jobs and it goes for miles. Now this was created from a job template. So when we originally set up the job, it was a template and it was on the old system. So you can see it's blue instead of orange. Okay, so we've got some templated email address at the bottom for contacts, data sheets and things like that. ENA Connect Direct link, um, projects file for open solar, warranty forms stock photos and things like that all in there already and then from about here you can see you know we first sent an email out of the job so all of this above is general day to day running the job now what's been added for service mate 13 is these little tabs down the side so you can get rid of your diary if you need to and you just want more space but you can also click the photos and view them all side by side which is fantastic this one's not got too many you know maybe 20 photos on the job but if you go to jobs with a lot more photos on there could be hundreds of photos on a job. Um, so it makes it really easy to find the photos from the pictures. And then this other cool one is the files. Now, when you go back to the main diary, you've already got this here where you can click files. You still got to scroll through them and try and find everything. These tabs here, game changer for just making it really quick and easy to see all the files side by side, be able to choose what you want and you know just access them email it right from there if you need to send it to the customer and so on so really liking the enhanced job card now i'm pretty sure enhanced job card is actually got more stuff on it than just that but these are the main features we're using so it's the it's the tabs on the right hand side checklist is obviously the big upgrade on there as well um having all your custom fields right on the first page um which i'm a bit more my on i like having my lead source there but i don't like having my um, integration IDs on there um, again some most people won't have these but we use them for some API integrations um, so yeah it's a nice new layout to the new job card and obviously um, there we go when you're on a, a newer type job card which I can't even find now I've created <laughs> there we go um, there we go um, you get an orange one to say it's been created on the newer version. So quite a nice system, nice way around of working all your jobs and finding things in there and you know just going through old files and making life easy. And that's really cool and we're really getting on with that one. Okay, so next up, the next big feature. Now, this test job that we've just set up, obviously I've got nothing in the job at the minute. There's no, There's nothing in the main description. There are some photos here, but there's also nothing in the billing page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our services um, add-on, which we've already got loaded for EV charge points. I'm just choosing this one because I know it's quick and easy with the questions. Um, so you can ask the customer these questions on the, the phone, which is predefined because we've, we've done all this and set it up ourselves. But this could be about alarm panels, could be about plumbing your sink or anything. Now, 
I've just asked a few questions. Where's the install going to be? Is it on your house? Who owns the house? Length of cable and all of that. Now, I can I can set this up, and we've done this manually to show this price. So it's a 1487 quid and 20p. I'm going to apply that and I'm going to add it to the job. Now, just to show how this works, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to delete all of these items here, okay? And then I'm just going to check that all my information from the job, from the questionnaire is in the job, which it is. I'm going to go back to the billing page and I'm just going to use this function called auto quote. Now, we'll hit this and we'll just watch what happens because what it's supposed to do is use AI based on previous inputs into a other jobs on service mate plus inputs into your job diary and description fields in the job that you're in and it should be able to create an auto quote based on the work that it thinks you want to do so now it's writing it um, quote for the standard EV charge point installation um, the electrical so something's going on there these are things aren't infallible so you might have to add some extra text yourself but it's now finding out ah, so the electrical innovations basic package includes so it's pulling in information about the job. Um, but what it's doing is building the quote out as well. So it's finding the materials that have got saved in service mate, assigning them to the job based on other jobs we've done similar. And it's adding the markup in as well. So this is the same price that our service one that we did manually um, came up with as well. So if I want to, I can click apply. It's going to change the work completed materials page. And it's going to add that all in. So it's, it's pretty good, eh? So let's just show you that again on a new job. So let's start a new job. And this time we're going to do a four camera CCTV system. We do have um, a billing system on this. But again, I'll delete the line item. I've just left it on four camera system description here. So let's see if it picks it up this time and what happens. Auto quote. Hopefully it will be able to read the description and guess which line item it needs to include. And it should be the one which is a, a four camera system. And yeah, it's doing it's what it's typing in the work completed now. Um, there you go. It's finding the line item that it thinks it needs. It's got the right price uh, and it's adding in. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to apply that, add it to the job. Away we go. Okay, let's try and make it a bit quick, tr trickier because they were easy ones that we already got services for. So I'm going to once again use a new job template. In fact, no, we're not. We won't use a template this time. We'll just choose a new job. And I'm going to take, I'm going to do a Mr. Smith. Um, and we'll choose a new customer. There you go, Mr. Smithy as a new customer. I'm going to put one Derby Road. Nottingham, yeah, that'll do. Um, and what we're going to do this time, I'm, I'm going to pretend that we've got an inquiry about an alarm service to Pyronics. And um, app subscription as well. If you can understand my writing. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, there you go. Power, alarm service to Power and Force of Alarm System and App Subscription. I'm not going to put anything else in. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to go to back to the billing page and do an auto quote again. Now, in our service mate, we've done loads of this sort of work. We've also got line items saved. We've got services saved, um, job templates saved, all related to alarm system. So here we go. It's saying we propose to perform a comprehensive service, including a 12-month subscription. And it's found our alarm service line item, and it's found our app 12-month service item as well. So pretty good eh? you can just give it some notes let it find it itself as long as your notes are clear it should be pretty good so there's some other features that um, are going to save you time on your billing and your invoicing and things like that so overall pretty good updates these are the major ones there's another big one out there which is again you can go to your new jobs 
make a proposal you can create a new proposal just by typing in there or you can click onto an existing one that you've saved previously again um, it's just going to put it all in there you can choose options choose choices between alarm kit one or alarm kit two and, and away you go we don't really use proposals much so I'm hoping someone out there is using it um, really well can get in touch give me some ideas on what we can do maybe that's my next video of talking about how we've entered proposals into our business and seeing how we can work with them but for now those are the big ones for us um, Android new job card checklists um, new way of handling tasks and auto invoicing which are all pretty good on this latest update and um, you know just some more amazing ways to get the most out of service mate I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, let us know. Leave a comment below. I'm happy to help again as ever. If you've got any questions on your service, mate, just leave them in the notes below and um, I'll be sure to drop you a reply. Thanks so much. Good luck and um, I'll see you in the next video.